If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.com. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new flashback Conte to check out. Uh, this is actually good for us because we can just try them out in the uh, 4132, which is the only formation I like using in this game, like on a personal level. Uh, five foot six, medium high, two star, three star, controlled, explosive, right footed. Okay, so here's the thing uh, the shooting is non existent, so it's all about what he's like defensively. That's going to be the key thing here. Uh, no matter what, you have to give this card a shadow chemistry style because you want to increase his pace as much as possible. Could you technically go in the route of giving him an anchor chemistry style? You could. The sprint speed will be lower, but is it that bad? I mean, it's, I guess I guess it depends, right? Because he's going to be on stay back while attacking. I just think that for the meta of the game nowadays, you probably want that to be as high as possible, as well as the acceleration, because the acceleration part is always the key thing when it comes to working with a card like Conte, okay? So... Shooting, non-existent. I mean, it's he has some stuff, right? He doesn't even have the shooting play style, so I, I don't really care too much about that stuff. Um, passing on the card is in a pretty decent area with no passing play styles, uh, but it's all defensive stuff, right? So he has intercept, he has anticipate, he has slide tackle. Slide tackle for him, for him is pretty funny because of how small he is. Uh, Relentless plus, which is significantly increases fatigue recovery during halftime and extra time. You know what we could do with this? Because someone actually mentioned this uh, in the Sawa review, which wouldn't be horrible to try out, is putting aggressive interceptions on them, right? Because if he has regular interception, I put Relentless Plus... Well, he, Relentless Plus is on the card, and his Quick Step is... Ah, uh, see? So Quick Step... I mean, Quick Step is working with the acceleration. Then that could be ideal to kind of, like, do that type of stuff with him. But, um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and unlock the card. He's only going to provide you with the Saudi League links... <laughs> Honestly, if you have Benzema on your team, you're chilling because uh, if you have like the radioactive one, because that's going to be a nice little triple link sub just like that. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and unlock the card and I'll show you guys how we line them up. OK, look, so since people on Footbin are giving him an anchor because they want to give him that physical boost, which I'm not completely against. Right. If you keep him on stay back while attacking, it's all about AI at that point. Right. Um, I'm not completely against this, especially since Quick Step is one of his main things, too. Um, so we'll do this. Some of this is a little bit outdated, a tiny bit, but yeah, uh, we'll just do it like this, right? So four, one, three, two. So this area here, we're going to do this, this, and this. Always look to intercept passes aggressively. Let's do that. Split the opposition and cut out the passing lanes. Keep your shape and stay in position to defend. Let's do this. Stay back, cover center, aggressive, just because of the play style plus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll do that, and then we'll just do this. Format the team like this. Okay, coolio, coolio. All right, guys, let's go see what he's like. funny how he's inside the 18. I don't know why he'd be inside the 18. Too small for this. Until I actually press the second man press there, he wasn't going to go in. I have to um, take off the aggressive. Take it off. Quick pass, pass it downwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he actually tosses him there. Leg round switch. Pass it upwards. There you go. Typical meta FIFA goal. Well, 
AI wise, I didn't do anything there. That's why I have to take off that instruction, right? Nice pass. <laughs> Imagine. And we almost scored. Nice try. Typical meta. Well, not typical meta. It's just, you gotta have certain things there, I guess. I gotta take that instruction off of Conte. Oh wow, you can hit it with anybody, eh? It's always that ball roll into Trivella. Oh, we're still good. No worries there. Okay, cool. Alrighty then. We'll take that. Legrin switch. <laughs> Why not, dude? Honestly. Ah, I go of him so he does the AI stuff. Gotta let his AI track back here. Bro, whoever gives anchor, like these guys on flipping, I, I don't even know if these guys play the game, bro. A block there. Well, I did get a block there, but you know what I mean. Let's the control them there quickly. We're good. Pass it upwards. There you go. Why not, dude? Why not? He hit him that first time. That's a red card. If you're going to call it like that. My boy doesn't like Conte, eh? It was a bad giveaway, but we did end up getting the ball there. Ooh, what a tackle. There's that track back of his there. Nothing. Well, we did get that one. Okay. Good third pass. And that was a good goal. Nicely done. We'll take it, boys. I gotta give him a shout out, man. I don't know how people can give these cards anchors and stuff. Like, I don't know. Confuses me. Oh. 
All right, man, we're just hitting some long shots with him. Why not? What's his long shot stats? Let's see. 70, eh? Nice. Oh, get it. There we go. Lot pass upwards. Oh, well waited, we'll take it. And a penalty? And a penalty. Oh, he'll probably leave before I get to take it though. Yeah, figured. I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him a shadow. I gotta boost that pace. There we go. Well done, Conte. Now a body to body. Guys, razzle dazzling me, bro. Like, take it easy, bro. Take it easy. Hey man, he did well enough there to put pressure. That's the thing about Conte usually, it's the AI stuff, man. Like when you're defending with him, it's not really like when you're manually using him, it's all AI. Like what does he like to aggressively push into people like that, right? It's all like, it's always, like he's he's one of the, the car that's always been like that, right? You just, it's not really something that you use and you're like, oh, like as I'm manually using him, I could see how good he is defensively, like nah. It's when you're not, you don't even notice him being there, like that's what it is. Is that Lustig dribbling is not crazy though, so you definitely gotta lay the ball off as quick as possible. Yeah, these guys are giving him anchor. I don't know, bro. Like right away, I like right in the beginning of the game, I was like, yep, definitely gotta give him a shadow. Do a lot of pass here. Yeah, still well weighted, bro. Still well weighted. There you go. I'm telling you guys, bro, the shot cancel sometimes it doesn't register, sometimes it does. It's very inconsistent. It do be inconsistent, my boy. Ooh. See? AI. AI again. You see how he occupies that empty space like right away? I'm telling you guys, it doesn't register, man. More power on that, huh? Well done, well done. Kind of possession based a little bit. Give him back the ball here, see what's up. Let me do this, do that. Press to get the tree bell off. Oh! Nah. <laughs> uh. Nice pass off, there we go.
All right. Guys, this is, all, this, is this a long shot review with Conte or what? Give me the ball. Yeah, my boy. <laughs> I guess his shooting is so good because of the fact that he's uh, a small player. Probably has like that body type that makes him shoot a certain way too. Hard to say. Give me that. I'll do this. Little through ball. And, uh, let's see if we can block that though. Yeah, there we go. No! Almost, almost. It wasn't a looped. You need the loops there for sure. That's what I like to see, Conte. That's what I like to see, my boy. Get the ball off. There we go. Need you to attack more, my boy. Come on. Give me the ball. Yeah. I have to, like, score sometimes, you know? I gotta, I gotta make them stay in the game, stay a little bit longer, you know? Ooh, never know, dude. Never know. It was gonna be a loop, eh? Look at Bellingham, Conte, from extra time, eh? <laughs> is that a glitch? Is that because of the... Is that because of the play styles? I guess so, right? <laughs> Holy, that's a big difference. <laughs> is that actually what it is? That's actually really crazy. Yeah. It's actually nuts. He's ready, bro. He's got the energy. Conte's ready, bro. Give me the ball. Oh my god. He's ready, bro. He's ready. Go downwards. Yeah, that's how I like to see my boy. Ah, not enough height, I guess, for that one. It's weird. Sometimes, like, if you, like I said, if you let the AI do it, maybe you'll get it, you know? No, he still has it. Even B. Leave him be. Ah. Oh. <laughs> card like Conte, you have to, I would say the, the way to best utilize him is like in two midfield formations where it's like a 4-2-3-1 where he's next to somebody tall because there's so many situations where having that AI next to someone that you're actually defending with, that's where it's going to be like mainly helpful. He's been like that for like a few years now, honestly. I always usually say the same thing for Conte when it comes to his reviews for the last few years. Like, there was one year where having a team of the year Conte, look, see, that's an example right there. Having a team of the year Conte was like just the best CDM in the game, but usually nowadays it is the taller, more physical guys that definitely make a little bit more of a difference. But again, it doesn't mean that Conte's bad. It's just like that you just use him in a different way, right? See, even when I double tap the R1 there, he does well to kind of like track inside the 18 afterwards. Okay, we'll take that. Yay, me, I'm so good. 
I am so good at this game. Give me a ball! Oh. No! You never know, never know. Oh, we had a dip on that one, huh? From a long distance away. AI. All AI with it, man. I'm telling you. When you're manually using him, you're like, ah, you know, he's kind of small, blah, blah, blah. And it's all AI. That's why that, that's what I'm saying. Like that 4 2 3 one, it's been like this for years. 4 2 3 one, something like that. You're using the other CDM to manually defend with. Conte just comes out of nowhere and just defends for you sometimes. That's what it is with him. That works. Ooh, never know, never know. Nice goal, nice goal. We'll take that, we'll take that. AI. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. It's like you forget he's even in your team. You know, you're like, you're just chilling with other players, doing certain things. And it's just like, oh, don't worry. His AI got you, you know? That's going to be offside. See, those ones I feel like he should get, you know? Like if I'm being aggressive in that situation. Noise. Noise, noise. It actually registered a shot cancel that time. Bacha, what an SBC, eh, boys? You guys watched the review for that one? I was like, boys, one of the best valued SBCs this year. Bang! Bang! Nope. Yeah, you're not going to do that much of that with him, that's for sure. War pass. Good block animation. Very good, very good. War pass by Conte. Let's go, let's go. A through pass. Sure. <laughs> sure thing, bro. My boy dashboarded. There you go, just gotta block that area. First time pass, there you go. Ooh. And 
means oh almost score almost score oh we're good he gets the reach there Yeah, I see his AI. His AI is the one that gets that ball there. It's all AI defending with this guy, I'm telling you. Good animation there. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Ah, coming off of a run, not directly to the side there. That one he saves. I was just double tapping the uh, the R1 there a few times just to show you guys if he actually does do the commitments on the inside of the 18. Nicely done. First time, yep. Degree's position inside 18. I'm gonna do the double tap one. He marks Holland the entire time, right? That's what you want. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like if you're using a 4-2, like listen, 4-2-3-1 with a good box to box to box CDM next to him would be solid because you know that he's gonna still make those defensive plays, right? There we go. Hey, what are you doing there, man? What are you doing? What a long shot. Gets the gem. Gets the gem. Ooh. Into the long shot. <laughs> You really got to feel it out with the long shots, man. Like, I'm doing it for fun with him because he still scored some for me for some reason. Uh, but yeah, you got to really feel his bad boys out. Ah, uh, so he did bark, but he gets slide. Uh, he slides there because of the guy's, like, first touch. But... Still does a good job marking, man. His marking is, is fantastic. It's pretty consistent there, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you get that double tap R1, definitely marks people really well. Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'd be like that. Oh, almost, almost. War well, red card for you. Maybe I don't even know. It's a lot past there. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new flashback in Golo Conte card. So, uh, guys, with N'Golo Conte, he just feels the same way as he has in previous years. 
generally speaking, when it comes to the full meta part of this game, right, it is more ideal to have taller, more physical players playing in those specific areas. So you can see that when I'm playing 4-1-3-2, um, it would be more ideal to have a bigger guy there, even if it's someone like the SBC Hullet card, right? Um, if you guys got lucky enough and you got team of the year, Rodri, like those guys in those positions um, will always be more ideal because of the height and stuff. It, it just adds to the card quite a bit. However, Conte, just like every other year, is still a good card to use in the meta of the gameplay because the way that he performs in game is like this. OK, you just put him in your team and you don't even think about him. You don't manually defend with him that often. You don't really think about him being in the team and he defends for you, right? Because it's all about the AI interceptions, the AI man marking. His body type is interesting, right? Because he's got the unique body type. His unique body type, it's going to be hilarious to say this, right? But he's it's physical, right? So when you're going into challenges 1v1, like let's say Conte gets the ball off you 1v1, he does a physical challenge. Like some players, when you take a challenge with them, you could tell they're light on their feet, right? With Conte, it's like he's trying to bully you when he takes a challenge off you. Are you going to notice that more often on the anchor chemistry style? Absolutely, because you do boost the aggression, the strength, and the jumping of the card as much as possible to help out with that. But guys, generally speaking, for how the meta of this game is, for how you want your players to generally move, the acceleration and sprint speed AI-wise is what you want to boost the most because he's going to get into those positions quickly to be able to go for that interception, to be able to go for uh, that specific tackle once you... Because this is the way you defend with them. I'm not even joking, right? You defend with him in a way where you press L1, you tackle right away. Because he's his AI is already in position, and then you're good. When you're like transitioning with him and stuff, right? You have to understand, he's smaller, right? His body type feels more physical, which is completely fine. It actually, it actually allows you to body some players sometimes. But that's the way that you use them. You don't really use them the way that you would conventionally use some other players because this card's AI is what saves you most of the times, right? So did they price the SBC a little bit up there? Yeah, right? For the meta of the game, the bigger guys, they do make more sense. But does the card still perform well in game for the way that he performs? Absolutely. Even like, because guys, listen, there was a specific patch. It wasn't the last patch. It was the second last patch where the smaller players became a little bit better to use. Like, you know how I did the review for Kaiseido during that time period? Kaiseido became a little bit better to use after the patch because the, the smaller players became better to use in the midfield setup. They did something with the whole midfield area, right? And they became better, right? They became better. They're not the full meta like the bigger guys, but they're still way better to use than they were before. So um, if any of you guys want to unlock Conte, you put him in a team that's, I would say, mainly like a 4 one 2 one 2 because it's more narrow, 4 2 three, one more narrow. Um, he's still going to do a good job for you because it's all about cutting out those passing angles, getting that intercept off with him, right? And the fact that he has Relentless Plus is going to be pretty helpful for specific people's tactics as well, right? So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.